Hello, everyone. Um, this paper I want to present to you um, is titled How to Effectively Tune the Performance of Your RF Board Design. It basically uses the EM circuit partitioning and co-simulation together to be able to tune or optimize your board design in a very simple and easy way. I want to show it to you. So I'm going to go through an introduction just to show you the traditional way, the way that people used to do it in the past, and the new approach. And I'll go through an example, the best way to show an example. Now, the traditional approach, if you have a board, how many of you did some momentum, EM planar, EM simulation? You, for those of you who did this process in the past, you remember you have to take the SMT components, the transistors, and you have to place ports at every, where every uh, SMT component is. And then you have to run EM simulation with the ports. Then you have to create a lookalike component, put it on the schematic, and then put the components back, connect them, and do the simulation. How many people have done this in the past with EM simulation? Yeah. Now imagine you have a board that has hundreds and thousands of components. This is tedious, right? It's a lot of work to do this. So basically what I want to show you, the new approach, which ADS does it automatically for you. You don't have to strip components. You don't have to put ports. Everything is done behind the scenes automatically for you. So the new approach is basically the EM circuit co-simulation, partitioning where you have the board and this, the ports created here in the SMT components automatically generated and the partitioning will tell ADS that the components in the, that you're choosing here, whether you want to simulate it at the circuit model or at the EM model or what model. So you can partition your design. I want this to be simulated EM. I want to simulate this at the circuit level. So you can choose in the partitioning. Now, to, to do this step, basically, you have to create a top level in the schematic, like here, an example of a two-stage RF amplifier. On the top level here of the two-stage amplifier, if I push into this, if I push into this level, I will see the two-stage amplifier, whether in the schematic or the layout. But this is the top level, where it says the you know, you can choose the view you want to look, the schematic. Or So here's the top level. Now, to do the approach I showed, uh, I mentioned, you know, to do things automatically requires really simple four steps. You create a top level schematic. I showed it to you already. Then from the EM setup, to do the EM setup component here, you select the EM co-simulation. That is the new method, the EM co-simulation method. Okay, and you want to generate the view, the EM co-simulation view. Then you launch momentum, you do the EM simulation, and after that, from the top level, you can change views and you can look and tune and optimize and do all kinds of things, I'll show you. So let, let's go through the, these four steps in an example. Here's my top level, step one. From the layout, I go to the EM setup. Step number two is the EM setup, right? So this is step number two, the EM setup. Notice now I have EM co-simulation. This is the old methodology. It's still there if you want to use it. This is the EM co-simulation bubble. Once you click on this, then you go to, to you want to set uh, You want to notice here, it says partitioning, where all the capacitors and the inductors and the transistors are simulated at the circuit level, but the board and the lines are going to be EM simulated. The coupling between the lines are going to be EM simulated, but the components are going to be at the circuit level. And here's the generate view. I click on go. It automatically does everything, generates the views, strip out the components, put ports, and does everything behind the scene.
Now, once I click on generate view, I come back to my main window and I notice the EM Co simulation view or automatically created. I, you know, it just once I hit generate the views. And notice here, there is a cell, a new cell that has been automatically created also. I did not create it. It is a two-stage amplifier EM COSIM. And this one, if you look at it, if you open the layout, you will see that all the components has been taken off automatically and ports has been placed automatically. So this is, this is really what saves you a lot of time. Because I didn't have to take components, I didn't have to do the ports, automatically it is done for me here. So the, the next step is to simulate this. And this is where you open that EMCO sim and you'll see the database and you'll see a, a window that opens, you know, launch momentum basically. So once you launch momentum, it simulates the EM and saves the results in the database. So that's the EM results saved already for the board. Now is the fun part because everything simulated, I have all the data. Now the fun part is to go to step four from the top level, you can change views. You can simulate the schematic, you can simulate the layout, you can simulate the EM, which I just did. So by, by putting schematic here, this is the circuit level simulation of my amplifier. Next, I change the view to EM, the EM co-simulation view, and notice the blue is the simulation of the amplifier that shows it shifted to lower frequency because of the coupling and the board and the EM simulation of the board. So this frequency is one and a half gigahertz. It shifted all the way down to one. So I want to bring it back now to one and a half gigahertz. How do I do this? I just, okay, those are the views, schematic view, layout view, and the EM COSIM view. So how do I tune it back? I launch the tuner, you know, just the tune fork, the tuner, and these are the components. I click on each component I want to tune, and I start tuning up and down with the SMT components and watch the response if it meets my spec or not. So by doing this, I was able to bring the response back to one and a half gigahertz by just playing with the tuner. And the EM is already included with the tuning because I'm tuning the SMT components, but the EM of the board has been already incorporated, like simulated with. Now, some of you might ask, okay, you did it in the layout and the EM. How about if I want to tune on the schematic? I want to open the schematic and be able to tune it because the schematic has the circuit models, right? So to do this in ADS, you just place an EM co-simulation controller. You just pull it from the simulation, pull down menu, you place it, and all of a sudden now when you tune, it will incorporate, it will add the EM effect of the board by, by doing this. I, um, yeah, so this is the tuning on the schematic. So in conclusion to this, basically I showed you, I don't want to call it new, it's been in ADS for a while. Some of you maybe did not use it yet. I just want to expose you to this methodology. It really saves a lot of time. It's very easy, especially on big boards. And uh, you'll be able to tune SMT components. You can launch the optimizer, let it optimize it if you don't want to tune. But all this available to you and if you really need to know more, much more about this, if you're interested, stop by the booth. I, I'll be there tomorrow, uh, most of the day, and I can show you the demo. Thank you very much. And if you have questions, you can ask me. Uh, the question is, how long does the simulation take? Uh, this kind of thing is really fast. Like when you launch the, t uh, are you talking about the EM simulation or the tuning? Yeah, the EM simulation depends. Depends on uh, your computer, the power, depends on the board, how big it is, how many. 
this one, yeah, this one is very easy. Very small example I simulated. I, I forgot, I probably take uh, five minutes or something to, to do the EM simulation. But the tuning is dynamic. As you're tuning the SMT components, you can see the response moving up and down. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.